Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly, and welcome to the What Would You Make collaboration. More about that later. But first, we're going to make this twine holder with a little bird on the top. This looks very vintage and rustic. I love how it comes out. This one I made a while back for myself and I had some stuff left over so I thought I would show you how I do it. Now I looked around in my stash and I found this drink coaster, this little round one, and I have a piece of wood that I got from Dollar Tree, the little rectangle one, and I have this twine from, this is from Timu I believe, the, the lighter colored twine. And these dowels I have in my stash, but you can get them at Walmart, you can get them off Amazon, Hobby Lobby, a lot of different places. So first I'm going to tea stain my twine so that it looks a little bit aged. It looks a little too bright white here. So I want to go ahead and soak that a little bit and give it just a little bit of an antique look. So I just pour enough of the uh, liquid in there to cover just the thread. I don't want it to hit the um, the cardboard insert. So I just put enough in there to do that. So now I'm going to show you how I make my, my tea stain stuff. Uh, I put four tea bags in probably four cups of water in a big bowl. And then I took about a cup, cup and a quarter of coffee and I mixed it all together and I added a bunch of vanilla. I added some of my cinnamon um, spice mixture, my grubby mix in there and I just let it seep. Now I made it to, I mixed it up to stain some of my tea towels and this cool little bread bag that I had. Um, and so that's why I made it up, but I put it in a container that you saw the mason jar with a lid because I knew that I would use it on my crafts and other things. So now we're going to use it to tea stain these, um, or this one, this roll of twine. So I didn't want the mixture to hit the cardboard insert. That's why I left uh, just a tiny bit in the bottom for it to soak in because I didn't want that to get soggy and fall apart. Now what I used in my original uh, design that I did, I used just some antique wax on it and so it doesn't didn't really seep in. So uh, it just is around the edge. So as you take the string off or the twine off, you'll be able to see the um, the different colors of the twine because it was just the antique wax. Now this is going to seep in a little bit. As you can see, it, it seeped in some and it left a little bit of a ring. So I'm just tipping the edge in there a little to get that to look good because that'll be on the top. And then I'm going to set it aside to dry a little bit. Now I'm just gonna sand down my two pieces that I'm gonna use for the base. And I just want the stain to be able to grab onto that wood. So I'm gonna sand down everything and the dowels. Now I have this little bird um, mold. It's a silicone mold. I got this from Timu. I'll have links to everything down in the description if I can find them. I really like this mold and using hot glue in here. And so you just have to get it right in all the little cracks and crevices. And then I take my little uh, dowel that I'm going to use that I cut down and I'm gonna put it right into the hot glue and that way it'll be nice and sturdy. So I just set that aside so it sits, stands up really nice and straight and I let that dry. It takes probably about 10 minutes or so for it to fully um, dry up so that you can use it or cool off. So I just drilled a couple of holes that were just a little bit bigger than my dowels into my bases and then I can set my little bird and the dowel inside. I'm not going to be gluing the dowel into the base. I want to be able to remove it. If you actually use these uh, for a dispenser of your twine, you're gonna wanna be able to replace it. So I'm gonna just leave that dowel so that it will stay in there. They're nice and uh, tight when you put them in, so they should stay just fine. I'm going to take some of my homemade dark stain. This is antique wax. 
with uh, water and a little bit of black paint to darken it up. And I'm just gonna do these all over the bases, top and bottom, and also the dowels. I love the vintage feel that this stain gives to my wood pieces. It really does a nice job at giving you different hues of the brown and black together. And depending on the type of wood, it's, it just brings out the, the wood color so, you know, the design so well. Um, and I just love how that works. So now I'm gonna take uh, some black paint and paint my bird. I'm gonna give that uh, two coats all over, uh, drying in between each coat. Be very careful if you use that on this because this is made of hot glue, so it will melt if you get it too hot, but just doesn't take long with that um, paint to dry it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and distress the base just a little bit around the edges not a lot but just make it look like it's been um, used a little bit i cut off some of the twine and i'm just wrapping it around the top just underneath the little bird to make it look a little more finished and i thought if i put a little bow there that would make it look kind of cute so we're going to do that and that should finish the top of that off I'm going to glue that so that that little bow is straight because I don't want it crooked. There we go. We're going to push it right up there underneath the bird. And I think that looks really good. So now we're ready to cut off a piece of the twine and put the twine roll on the on its stand. And then I have these scissors that I got also from Timu. I bought a few packs of them. They were very inexpensive. And I liked the vintage look of them. They look like old scissors. So I'm gonna take the piece of twine that I cut off and I'm gonna wrap it around so those scissors will stay. And that's gonna just make it look um, like a really cool uh, display. Of course, if you're gonna use them, I don't think it would stay going in and out of there, but I like how it looks as like a little display piece. So this is my little bird mold I let sit with the little dowel in there until it cooled down and got solid and now I'm going to pull that off. So I just work it with my fingers and uh, loosen it up and then it takes a little bit but it peels off really well and leaves such a cute little bird. Now, I wanted to tell you about the What Would You Make collaboration that this video was created for. This is put on by Zaina at OK at Home DIY, Connie at Connie's Creative Creations, and Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY is the guest host. And they are going to be doing their own videos along with several other people on this uh, playlist. And I will have that linked below. You make sure you go and check out these awesome creators who have taken things with wood and created special projects to inspire you to create your own wood creations. I've stained the dowel to match the base and now I'm giving the little bird on top two coats of black paint, drying in between each coat. And then I'm going to cut a piece of twine just like the other little stand and I'm going to wrap it around underneath the bird and give it a little bow.
I hope you enjoyed my wood projects using thrifted wood products and some Dollar Tree items along with some Timu items and just things that you could find in Walmart, off uh, Amazon, anywhere that you look around you can find something that you'll be able to put this together. I hope you like the vintage rustic feel of these and I think they are just so cute and they're usable as well which makes it really cool. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the What Would You Make playlist. I'll have that link down in the comments and in the description. And also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you being here. Have a great day.